First up, every time you plug your phone into charging, if you want to see a really fun charging animation on your screen, try Pika charging animations. So after you give it the right access settings, you can choose from a variety of animation styles and apply them. Be patient because it can take about 10 to 20 seconds for the app to load the animation, but after that, just hit set and you're done. Now, some of these are free and some are not, but you'll get some coupons and you can just buy more if you want the premium animations. But yeah, go ahead and give it a try. Unlimited cloud storage. You can store files and folders. You can just move all your photos and videos in here. And you can also set up sync with your gallery, just like with Google Photos. So you can constantly have all your pictures and photos backed up. Needless to say, you can also back up your files. The app lets you browse your files by file type, making it easier for you to select them and then just hit upload. And the upload speeds are pretty good. And you can also select folders that you want always to be in sync. So yeah, you don't have to beg to Google Drive or to Dropbox anymore. If you're running out of cloud storage, just get Unlim. The app may be a little buggy, but it'll get better with time. At least that's the hope. And guys, before we move on, I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers and I can't do that without your support. It'll be great if you could just drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and that'll get me somewhere. Now let's move on. Now this next app is like a to-do, note-taking, life organizing sort of an app, and it's completely free. It can be a bit complicated, but let me simplify it. Let's say I want to organize my day for tomorrow. I select new, select my daily tasks template, rename it with the date for tomorrow, and then start adding my tasks by priority, just like that. Or let's say I have a new video I need to shoot. I pick up my video shoot template and start creating my shot by shot checklist with the title changed. So if you want to get things done and organize your projects and tasks, this app, it's called Taskade, is an excellent choice. It offers everything for free. You can create workspaces, you can create projects within these workspaces. Each project can have tasks. And then each task, as you can see, I can just expand into subtasks. And those could be to-dos or checklists. I can attach tags, I can attach deadlines, and I can also attach reminders so I don't forget anything. All up to me. And this is a pretty comprehensive project management tool. I mean, I can look at my tasks or my areas of concerns as a list, as an action map, as a board, as a mind map, and even as an organizational chart if the need arises. And it doesn't matter what device you have, you can use it on pretty much any platform using extensions on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and it will maintain consistent sync across all. There are also a bunch of themes that you can use to personalize your experience, change the background on the web if you so desire, and you can choose between dark mode and bright mode. So that little personalization available there. And hey, if you find this overwhelming, just go to task eight templates and just pick a template to help you get started by literally doing nothing. I mean, as long as you're signed in, just go in, look for the template that you want, just give it a preview, and then you can click on copy project or add template to your task eight, and that's it. Now I'm personally going to stick with Todoist because I already have everything set up there. Plus, I think the interface is a little cleaner, neater, more professional. But Taskade, I think, is an excellent free alternative if you don't want to get the premium version of Todoist. Now, if you're really annoyed by ads in any of the apps or the websites that you visit and you don't wish to see them at all, get Blocada. Blocada will not only make all your ads disappear, but it'll also give you a faster and a more secure experience because it also kills any kind of trackers or malwares that are running in the background. But Blocada is not on the Play Store, and not because it's unsafe, but because it tries to block ads that yields revenue for Google. So here's a responsible thing to do. If you don't want ads, purchase the app or get the subscription if there is one. Otherwise, only disable ads using Blocada for those apps that you know or that you feel unsecure about or they're, they're too spammy or they're obscene. Only for those apps, you can disable those ads. And so if you wish to download and install Blocada, there's a link in the description. Go there, download the APK. The file will get downloaded and then you can just install that and it's all set. Next, if you're big on reading too many articles and don't always find the time to read them at that very moment, use Article Reader Offline. If there's an article you want to read later, just tap on Share, click on Article Reader Offline and it will get saved on your phone for reading whenever you want, even if you're offline. You can then access all those articles as a list right here. And the app also gives you some options in terms of styling your content. So if you just tap, you can then select the background color, you can select the font size, 
you can select the font style whether you want a serif font or a sans serif font and you can also change the brightness specifically right from here so a lot of flexibility in that way and even better you can just hit play and the entire article would be read out to you and by the way you can organize all your saved articles into different folders and zones so it's easy for you to access them and coming to the last app in the list is this beautiful KWGT widget pack, which is completely free. It's called Vanilla KWGT Widget. So if you like the date and time uh, widgets that I've used on my home screens, they are all from Vanilla KWGT. But of course, if you don't know how to use KWGT, I've done a full video tutorial explaining how to do that. So you can pick that from the top right corner of this video and you're going to need KWGT Widget Pro to use these. And that's it guys, those were top six apps for the month of March. I know I always do top seven apps, but quite frankly, I didn't get a seventh app that was worthy enough of making it to this list. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.